Wow, another P55 unboxing video. Imagine that. Today we've got the Gigabyte P55M UD2. So what you may have noticed by now, if you've watched all our P55 uh, Gigabyte unboxings, is that there's a bit of a, uh, a pattern to the naming. So M means we've got another micro ATX board on our hands, three year warranty, ultra durable three, but we're missing the Crossfire Dolby and SLI logo. So let's get this board open. This is Gigabyte's entry level micro ATX P55 board. So we've got our manual here, then we have our uh, installation driver and utility DVD, then we have our smart stick, smart six, smart stick, smart six user guide. We have the multilingual installation guidebook, so that's your quick start guide. And then we have two SATA cables, an IDE cable, and an IO shield. There, that's your accessories. This is an entry level board in terms of the overall accessory package. So here we go. Let's get this baby opened up. And we're gonna be comparing it in a lot of ways to the P55M UD4 because that is a more feature rich board, it's more fully loaded. So this one, compared to that board, doesn't have the robust MOSFET cooling solution. It also doesn't have support for SLI and Crossfire. This port is only capable of running in 16x mode, and this one, even though it physically is a 16x port, you can see the pins here, if you can see the pins here, actually are only 4x. So that means that this is a 4x PCIe 2.0 slot, but it runs off the chipset rather than the PCI Express lanes built directly into the CPU. That means if you actually tried to run SLI or Crossfire on this board, your performance wouldn't be very good. Now, like all P55 boards, you do have support for dual channel DDR3 memory, and I'm, I'm glad to see even on an entry level board that we've got four slots for that. That's really good. And then up at the top left, we've got our eight pin power. Up on the top right, on the edge, we've got the 24 pin power exactly where they belong. And then I'm really happy to see this actually. We've got seven SATA ports, even on our lowest end board here. So they've actually got their optional Gigabyte SATA 2 chipset here. Really good to see. Um, we don't have some of the higher end features like onboard uh, clear CMOS and power buttons, but that's what you expect out of an entry level product. So now let's have a look at the I.O. panel on the back. So you've got, uh, wow, it looks like almost all of Gigabyte's board have about 10 USB ports. This one actually has 11. Wow. So then we've got a PS2 mouse uh, USB combo port, digital audio. Um, here's one of those USB E SATA combo ports and then you've got a Firewire port, Gigabit LAN and 7.1 audio. Thank you for checking out my blog on the P55M UD2.